What's up friends, Chuck here and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Okay, uh, so since the last episode uh, I have done a little bit of research because uh, in previous games whenever you went out and did a hunt you would come back and your bag would be full of all the stuff that you gathered like all the you know the herbs and honey and bugs and all the monster parts that you craft uh, that you carved and all the rest of it. Turns out they've changed that system somewhat. Uh, all of the things that we gather, like the herbs and the and the, all that sort of stuff, we keep and we have to deposit into our item box. But all of our carved, like the monster bones and the jaggy, not jaggy, jagras hides and all that sort of thing, uh, goes into its own automatically stored thing that you can access from the uh, blacksmith. So that's just another streamlined thing that they've done, which is handy. Uh, but that's good to know that that's the case because uh, I, I wasn't aware. Okay, there's a few exclamation marks we need to get rid of before we go out on a hunt. So let's do just that. How are you feeling? Uh, so Hunter, have you gotten used to how things work around here? New world, new rules. Something you have to get used to. But you'll get used to it. You have to. Your life's counting on it. Not to mention others as well. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Look around you. Everyone here. Strange or crazy as they may seem, they've all crossed the sea just like you. And they've all carried on their duties. They look to the new world in the eye. Sorry, they looked the new world in the eye and they realized the old way of doing things wouldn't cut it didn't stop them though they had conviction do you have conviction hunter <laughs> you should get to know your colleagues maybe some of the craziness will rub off on you all right it is still very hot for what it's worth uh so that's that one done let's have a look at the map we have this exploding on the screen so let's go see what the hell that's about oh you are too good to me <laughs> well fiver is it true you're going to help us rebuild the camp that is excellent news i hope you're as good as they say if you so if so we have plenty of work for you after all the commission studies lots of things not just the elder dragons uh, maintaining and improving the base is a full plate of tasks in itself you can't start anything without proper hq after all these, the resource center here is in charge of giving up all that work and making sure it gets done. <laughs> so back to business. Your job is to establish a camp. Go on an expedition into the ancient forest, find a, value, uh, a viable campsite, and make sure it's safe. If any monsters have decided to do the camping in your spot, you'll need to chase Don't them. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Got it. The bounty is for establishing the camp. We've got it. We've done it. Well, we haven't done it, but we're doing it. Okay, the resource center oversee, uh, not overseas, but as in a different country, but overseas, researcher requests and manages resources required for the investigations. To do bounties, you need to register beforehand, whereas delivery requests can be completed just by handing in items. When you unlock investigations during quests and expeditions, check in with the resource center to make sure uh, to make them available as a special quest. You can view resource center information at any time from the start menu under resource center. Nice. Okay, bounties are missions you can complete over the course of your quest and expeditions. First, check your critical bounties. Then pick a registered bounty. You can take multiple bounties at once. Most bounties will reward you with armor spheres and research points. When you've once you've completed the bounty, drop the resource uh, resource there. Drop by the resource center to collect your reward. Registered bounties. You can collect up to six of these from the list uh, to accept. The list is updated when you return from a quest or expedition, so check back frequently. Critical bounties, uh, they unlock new facilities or upgrade existing ones and are accepted automatically. That's good. They also compete in parallel with, uh, completed, sorry, in parallel with your registered bounties and with one another. Limited bounties, these quests are offered periodically to online users around the world and are available for a limited time only. When the next limited bounty is released, it will be overwritten the previous one. So if you want to complete them all, make sure you do them by the expiry day. Sure thing. Okay, so here we've got the the critical one, which was given to us automatically, and we can put these on as well. Uh, so we could do complete two quests in ancient forest. Let's do it. Uh, gather five insects. We can do that. Gather three insects. We can do that. Gather four plants. Could definitely do that. Slay eight small monsters and slay sixteen small monsters. We can do all of these things. There is a limited. There is no limited. My bad. Okay, so. Not only do we have quests out and about doing okay. things, uh, let's but, get this expedition underway. But now we, we also have gate. expeditions. 
A smart biologist wants to have a chat. Good to see you. Ah, uh, Hunter, since you've established yourself as a reliable presence here, I'd like to make a little request. When investigating large monsters, you can either slay or capture them. Naturally, both have their scientific merits, but frankly, well, it would be better for our long-term research to receive a live specimen that we can later return to the wild. So if you capture a quarry alive, you'll be uh, commended for it and earn r greater you can rewards. You on an expedition just by heading out through the gate. Shut up! Or you can use the world map. Whatever's easiest for you. Shut up. Commission's rule. Good luck. How about it? Capture your targets instead of slaying them, and you'll make a great contribution to our efforts here. Okay, so as I mentioned in a previous episode, you can uh, either slay your monsters or you can capture them. Um, we have a login bonus. I wanted to show you that as well because I was mentioning it the other day. So uh, the other episode, I should say. So if we just press triangle, we get a bonus item, a large barrel bomb. And it shows you some information, recent patches and all that sort of stuff. So that's cool. And also a, um, a voucher. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go and do this expedition. But we'll change up our gear, right? So we went with the sword and shield. Let's go with... Let's go with dual blades. Why not? Something different. We probably have more than enough to make a new set of armor. Um, right now, we're in Astera. If you want to go on an expedition, open your world map and choose your destination. For this expedition, we need to head to the ancient forest. We can expand expeditions as we delve further into the new world. Pretty good incentive to explore, right? Yes. Here we go. Ooh. Flourishing mushrooms. Wildlife map. Eh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Southwest camp, let's do it. So we're going in to find a, a new camp. So in each of these maps, um, there will be different base camps and you can return to any of them to restock or change your gear or whatever you want to do have a new meal which we didn't do um so we i think there's they said that there was um the ability to eat a meal at camp i'm not sure if that's at every camp or what or just the main camps we'll find that out in a sec um but there is more than one camp which is handy uh so in previous titles there was just the one camp which was where you spawned in at and um you would have to run all the way back there or use an item called a farcaster to teleport back there but in this game we can call our wyvern uh at any time of fast travel to any of the camps which is handy as hell so it's kind of like a fast travel mechanic if you are in the you know south part of the map and you want to go to the north map uh more bleh, north part instead of uh running all the way up there if you don't feel like it you can just um call your wyvern get him to drop you off up there and then run from there which is pretty sweet Okay, you can depart on expedition by selecting a destination from the world map without first accepting a quest. Unlike quests, expeditions are very open-ended and are great if you want to freely explore the world. Expeditions have following special characteristics. There is no time limit. You will not fail, uh, no matter how t many times you faint. So normally, in a in a normal scenario quest, whatever, uh, if you die or faint, uh, you can faint three times. So you faint once, you go back to your camp like you are here. Then you go out, you can faint another time, you faint the third time, you're dead. Um, and you fail. Uh, but you'll keep... Hang on. There are no co uh, completion conditions or rewards, but you will keep any materials you gather and points you earn. Monsters will depart the field after a set time elapses. You can decide when to return from an expedition. Once you're done exploring, return by doing one of the following. Speak to the hander at camp, return to expedition from the menu, or select the star from the world map. When you return to camp after completing a quest, you will automatically switch to an expedition. Uh, if you then accept the new quest from your handler, it will take less time to prepare that quest, provided the new quest takes place in the same locale. What? I'll read that later because that didn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me Let's the first time. The campsite. Let's do it! <laughs> like I always say, researchers if need- If I get to the campsite first, or if you're lost, open up your map or use your scout flies to track me. Like I always said, research is neat. Whenever first... you leave the base without signing up for a quest, you'll go on an expedition. There's no time limit or cap on how many times you're allowed to faint, which means you can explore to your heart's content. We literally just read that. Am I safe to talk now? 
Okay, research is neat, but first we have to eat. You have a barbecue spit handy? Just grill some raw meat on a golden brown until you raise your stamina level. Uh, hit circle to take the meat off the flame. Remember to keep an eye on it. Don't let it burn. You should be able to get some raw meat from hunting Aptanoth. Whew, so many tutorials. In multiplayer, you can join quests and expeditions in teams up to four, formed for the maximum of 16. Uh, we could probably just skip all that. That's fine. Return, no. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, we don't have the barbecue spit because I got rid of it. Because I didn't particularly need it. There's no supply stuff in uh, an expedition. Oops. Is this where we can eat? Canteen. Our mini it canteen is. here serves food that will give you a boost for the hunt ahead. Nice. Okay. Um, let's get the unpredictable platter again. Because why not? Seems like no matter what you order, <laughs> you get fish and um, some meat on a stick. Which is fine. Mm -hmm. you, you've done well. Okay. Can we even go this way? Is this like a secret back way? No, it's it's not. It's not at all. Uh, so we have, if we go to the map, your wildlife looks like map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Brilliant. There are multiple uh, exclamation marks here. So we may as well go check them out while we're on our way. There's a vine trap right here. It's pretty cool, actually. It tells you kind of where everything is. It's, it's quite, quite nice. So, let's get underway. Right, so these are the Aptonauts. We can get uh, the raw meat from them. There's a great Jagras old footprints. And some more. So we'll kill an Aptonauts, because why not? Oops. Now this is interesting. Let's report our findings to everyone at the resource center when we get back. Copy him up. Raw meat. Raw meat. And that's it. And then the vultures here. Or whatever their version of vulture is. This is the vitality plant. We don't need that. Because we're not hurt yet. <laughs> Learning more about the great Jagras. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's have a chat to this guy. Howdy! Howdy! Uh, howdy, Hunter. How's it looking? Gotta say, there's no better way to spend the day than fishing. Uh, I'm the one lucky guy in the commission has put in charge of studying fish and fish-like creatures here in the new world. Well, let me tell you, I love fishing. I live for it. I fish in my sleep. I sleep with... <laughs> Uh, I already caught all the old world's fish. Every last one. So when they offered me a job here, I accepted hook, line, and sinker. Anywho, my life here can't be all work, so I've been looking for a chum who loves the lure as much as I do. What do you say, Hunter? Are you game? Are you interested? Just give me a holler. I'd like to see what you're made of. Okay. I just love me some good fishing. <laughs> so ready to test your skills? Sure. So you can catch the pink... Perexus in this forest. Let's see you do it. You'll find the fishing spots as long as you've got the talent, but that shouldn't be too hard of a fish to reel in. Okay, so we just got a new critical bounty. Capture a pink Perexus, or however you pronounce that. Now, in previous games, you could only fish at certain points. Uh, I'm not too sure how it works in this game. Hmm. Hmm. At this fishing spot, okay. So, I wonder how we fish. That's quite the big fish, fish actually. Is it part of our gear? Because normally that would just be, uh, in, in the previous game, there's just like a heap of fish 
in the ground and you, oh, in the water I should say not in the ground and you just go up and you just press like X or whatever but it doesn't seem to be the case here which means that you may be able to fish in any any water although there's fish right there above my where my helmet is where my head is so maybe we just need to be in the right spot I mean fishing isn't our main goal here but uh, I can't I can't seem to figure it out so, I'll deal with that later. Let's get some more raw meat. I think it's super cool how those um, vulture type birds come when something dies. That's just really cool. Okay, there's a j great Jagras right there. Um, go on that vine for no reason. Some Zubats. I mean, it does. It wouldn't hurt us right killing another. Can be used as slinger ammo. Launch it at walls to eliminate dark areas. Like the inside of a cave, for example. Okay. Ah, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, we wouldn't mind, really, killing another ja Great Jagoras, right? Because then we can get more, more of its uh, parts. Oh, shit. Tracking an old footprints of another monster. Which is a bit scary. Let's get some mining going. Okay. There's the great Jagras. And the mini Jagrasses, for that matter. Now, I don't particularly like the dual blades. They're not my favorite weapon in the game. Um, they're not my least favorite, but they're not one I usually go for. So I want to take hits like that head on. I wouldn't say I'm particularly that skilled with them. Ah, shit. Yeah, bitch. Take damage. Fatty! So we know that we don't really need to focus on his tail too much. And we can focus more on his gullet, effectively. There we go, we lock him down. And we can just focus on his face. Inside of him, which is a bit funny. But we're doing some serious work to him. To, uh, do need to re sharpen our, our plate. As you can see, we're doing like shitty damage now. But he's running away, so we can afford to do that. Oops, let's put our weapons away. Let's hide from these guys. Over here! So we go into this bush and press X, I think it was. Good. We're well hidden. Hopefully this does the trick. <laughs> Don't know how that works, but anyway. Now we can go and, um... Okay, now's your chance. Stone. Oh, oh yeah, turns out... You get noticed again. Turns out we have the, um... The barbecue spit with us no matter what. Which is interesting. 
unless I've uh, misunderstood something with how the um, putting your your items away, which could also be true. Uh, so you can fast travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. There's the Jake Great Jaggers that we were uh, that we were fighting. Or at least, I assume it's the same one. So, track the monster! Now we just need to follow our scout flies. But pick everything up on the way as well. Okay, there shouldn't be too many more footprints or anything until we fully explore, uh, fully understand the great Jagras. So I'm, I'm swapping, I've got it, I'm getting the hang of it those now the the slinger because it's the slinger is a completely new thing in this game um you can now eat again brilliant <laughs> um the slinger is a whole new thing so whenever we pick up the red pit or stones or whatever it replaces whatever we had um so i'm picking up things for the sake of picking up things but i should really keep an eye on what i actually want Rather than just pick up, um, you know, the red pit and then pick up stones to replace it. Your health is low. Keep your distance and use a potion. Okay, let's use a potion. We can use it while moving, which is cool. If you run out of stamina, you'll be winded and vulnerable. Oh. Veteran hunters know to always keep an eye on that gauge. Yes, it's a good point. Down she goes. Oops. Wrong button. And it's dead. Finish all these little dudes off. You can assign a target destination for your scout flies on the map. Okay, let's carve him up. Over here. I'm coming, dude. I'm coming. Look at these little dudes as well. Okay, I think there was more than two. So it looks like they, the bodies still do disappear. We just run away from these guys. We don't need them too much. Uh, let's just go into stealth and have a look at the map. We can get rid of that waypoint. Uh, there is. What's freaking cool is there's different levels. So this we're on the base level. That's level two, and then that's level three. So the maps are massive, man. They're 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 huge. That's really cool. Oh man, so good. Let's go see what this is about. It's got a little question mark, uh, uh, exclamation mark, I should say. There's also an exclamation mark here. Um, actually, let's let's fast travel back there because we haven't done fast travel yet. Travel this camp. Yes. So it's just as easy as that, which is super cool. Uh, let's sharpen our weapon. Now, as I said, because these are the starting weapons, um, they go blunt very, very quickly. Um, so the, the more improved weapons you get, uh, the better they'll be and stuff. Now, we can eat again, it said to us. But I'm wondering if we need to. How do I get to just... No. Hunter notes, no. Pelica info, no. Hmm. Oven roast? No. Let's just go pay with money. Let's get a... A pretty... Hmm. Okay. So, we don't actually get any more meal effects. 
I assume because the mill effects of the first one are still current, but I can't seem to see if that's a thing at all. Um, so we won't we won't bother eating. Uh, these are all things that I'm going to get used to as the game progresses. You know, like even though I I, I played Monster Hunter quite a bit, um, this game has introduced quite a quite a few new things, and uh, I obviously don't know them all just yet, but I will. So. Considering we've learnt all of the old Jagras, is there even point? Uh, the Great Jagras. There is. So you just keep getting points. So you may as well just collect everything at all times. Um, I've gone the wrong way somehow. Let's see what this dude has to say. Over here. Hello. Hello, I'm a researcher with the Commission. My field is in Grimmel's... Gr Grimmel... whatever. Yes, Grimmelkins. I don't know. Grimmelkins is a type of like, uh, Linian? Linian? That are native to the New World. I wish to communicate with them and learn their lingo. But these creaky old bones just can't keep up with the fighty little chaps. Perhaps you could be of help. By my gnarly knuckles, you have uh, you could chase them after you could chase after them. We track them down in time. Take as is as it takes to say now. What do you say? Will you be doing old man a favor? Sure. Why not? Flame nut. <laughs> okay. Did I actually accept that or what? Hmm. Hmm. So I think this is my doodles, large doodles. That's what my scout flyers are tracking, I assume. Man, the scout flyers are freaking sweet. Don't care for you. Man, we're tracking it a long way. Yeah, let's take these down. That's pretty obvious, but thanks. Apparently we won't. As I said, the dual blades aren't really my thing, so I don't really know that much about them and how to use them properly. Stuck in those animations, man. It's brutal. Okay, let's maybe have a potion. Uh, what's going on? There we go. May as well carve them up.
Kessadon stuff. Okay, so the big ones are the males and the small ones are the females. We also need to sharpen our weapon again. And I've changed back to Red Pit. Bone Park. Okay, good. Got some bones. Where is it? Why don't you just up? Right, okay, so it wants us to shoot this. And then that falls down. And we could have killed all the Kestodons in one foul swoop had I actually been paying attention. But you get that. <laughs> You get that. Okay, so I feel that that is now done. We should probably head to the campsite. Um, which is, I guess, here. Field team leader? Yes. So we want to go here. Over here. I'm coming. Man, the scout flies are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, Jesus, that was quite the jump, actually. Quite the jump. Okay, leveled up old footprints. Over here. Good. There's a question, uh, there's an exclamation mark right here. So let's quickly check that out. <laughs> the hell is this dude? <laughs> Woman. Well, hi there. Fancy meeting someone out uh, out here. I'm the editor in charge of the field guide. It's my job to learn to dis uh, disseminate, dissem dissem disseminate, disseminate. Yes, <laughs> as much as possible about the uh, endemic life here. The endemic life here includes all small animals, fish, basically, anything that won't try and eat you. And I love them all to pieces. My research tasks are to capture, observe, study, verify, record and play with any endemic life I find. I'm a busy bee. The new world is literally crawling, uh, crawling with undiscovered specimens. I don't even know where to begin. I don't have enough hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, enough hands. Oh yeah. What if you become my assistant? Sure, why not? To capture any endemic animals, uh, could you even let them loose in your room for some first-hand observation? Who could say no? But don't just answer just yet. Think it over and come to see me again. I'll promise the little critters will bring you nothing but joy. Okay. So did they just add pets into this game? Because holy shit. I didn't know that. And that's amazing. How do we catch a pet? So maybe we can catch like the vultures and stuff. That would be like utterly fantastic. Okay. I think we want to go up here. I think this is what it's telling us to do. We've done it. Okay, new monster has set up home here, digging up a pot, of all things. A Kulu Yaku. <laughs> Freaks out, throws the pot, and runs away. Well, if we don't take care of that past, the camp won't last a night. Oh yeah. The monster's called a Kulu Yaku. The scout fires can guide you to a monster, uh, Grimelkines, I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm going to look it up, and gathering, a uh, gatherable items. Press the thing to go to the wildlife map, use the cursor to select the target you wish to seek during expedition, simply collect monster tracks, uh, not, uh, will not engage the scout fires guide feature to do so, okay, sure, yes. So we need to hunt this thing down. Um, to return to base from an expedition, open the wildlife map and switch to the world map. Then select Astera. Yeah, but we gotta. Oh, we gotta hunt this thing, right? So if we go hunt you. Oh, 
Sorry. Alarm's going off. <gasps> there, see, there was a, there's like a dragonfly. Can we catch it? I it. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> Shit. All right, not entirely what I was going for, but uh, <laughs> large doodles. Large doodles. Okay, well we found it. It's just down here. I missed some toadstools, but that's fine. Where'd it go? Toadstool. Now I've gone this way. Collect those footprints. Collect them real good. Okay, we've done it. All those footprints. Demon mode activate. And time to do some deeps to this thing. So we have no idea what this what this thing's gonna do, as it is the first time that we've um, come across it. So we'll just chase it down. Oh, little frog thing. Can I pick you up, Parato? No, nope, you're gonna paralyze the crap out of him. There we go. And also me. <laughs> okay, good job. Or Luna can just come and kick us in the butt, which is also. Good. Get our big combo in there. environments, which is awesome. Whoa, whoa, stop locking onto the wrong thing, damn it. Okay, he's hightailing it out of there. Apparently we have to stop to get this mushroom. A rare mushroom in the ancient forest, highly sought after by elite chefs. Account item. Okay. I'll go into account items at a later date. Uh, let's just hunt this thing first. There's also some sparkly sparkly over here. Not sure why it was sparkly sparkly, but it was sparkly sparkly nonetheless. Uh, we should probably... Probably sharpen our weapon. Okay, and then I saw a, um, at least I thought I saw a fly that gave us health. Apparently not. So we'll use the potion as well. No, oh, there it is. Oh, the cat even brings it to you. That's fantastic. That's amazing. You don't want to hit its pot, otherwise you bounce. Uh, we broke its face. Great. Go arch, arch demon mode. Oops. It's tired. Focus on its head. Okay, running away again. So let's again use this time to uh, sharpen our weapon. Oh, there's a ja great Jagras there. It's so cool how they just like 
live in the same world and like can fight each other and stuff. So the, the great Jagras just let it run past. Wasn't particularly um too fussed about it. So no doubt it's gone to sleep somewhere. Or it's trying to. No, nope. it's just coming here. Down your pot, damn it. There you go. Good job. Oh no, you still got it. He's trying to hit me with it. Oh shit. <laughs> He's not happy. He is not happy. So we could just let them fight it out for a bit if we wanted to. If we can uh, get them to fight each other. Okay, he's limping, so he's almost dead. Jake, great Jagras is bathing up food. So we can probably just sneak, sneak past him. Go and finish this guy off. Okay, here's some like things again. Can we pick these up in any way? Do we need... Hang on, we got a net. Capture net. That's the one. Oh, shit, we can... Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, we missed. Oh, shit. Monster Hunter World has now become... Fucking gotta catch them all. That's... Utterly amazing, and I'm a huge fan. Can we capture? What happens if we capture Ned? Nothing. So this guy should be finished fairly soon. Bigger wasp, thank you. Kind of duck. Duck into that one, which wasn't the best. He is not happy. What is this that he just dropped? It's a piercing pod. That's a piercing pod. A powerful type of slinger ammo. Okay. That's able to pierce the thick shell of monsters. Nice. Let's do exactly that then. Where'd you go? Where did you go? Oh, I ran out of stamina. <laughs> Whoops. So, if we run out of stamina, we can just eat a ration. And you can see it gives you part of your stamina back. Also, cooked meat and all the rest does the same thing, so... Um, that's what those are. Let's hit him with a uh, piercing pod. Or three. Okay, last one didn't hit too much. How is this guy still alive? Come on. Where the shit did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it just... It just ran like crazy. In a really quick way too. Let's just double check we are, we are still actually... Oh, it's even got the death. Oh, that makes it a bit easy. A bit too easy. That it's got the, the little skull icon, meaning that you know that it's um 
almost dead. That was part of the, like part of the reason why Monster Hunter is so great is because uh, you have to really pay attention to the monsters and and how they act and stuff to know how close they are to dying because they have no health bars. So like, you can tell this thing's fucked, but the fact that it has the little skull on it. I don't know. Hopefully that's just a one-off thing for this, and it's not that all the time. Just keep shooting fucking pellets at it. <laughs> to make it stop. How are you not dead, guy? We've hit you so many times. We need to... Whetstone again, unfortunately. Not a good time to do that. I should be fine with just a normal potion. And a arm. Hits like that repeatedly will stun you. Meaning Thanks. you won't be able to move. Uh, we do have the radial menu, which I keep forgetting about. There we go. Okay. It's gotta be dead. Th this is the one, right? This is the final stance. You would think. I mean, it's going back into Jagras territory, which is... Probably not the best idea for him personally. Or monsterly, I should say. Eating to try and recover HP. And he's finally dead. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, so we got a plume. Broken egg. And now we carve. We got a scale. A hide. And another hide. Okay, so flash fly. Uh, if we go to the star from the world menu, uh, world map, we can go back to trade yard. That'll do. Yes. So we did the expedition. We found a new um, send items box. We found a new camping ground, which is awesome. Uh, we got a level up on the J Great Jagras, which is awesome. Uh, our cat leveled up. We got some gadget proficiency. A new cutscene. Quite a few things. So we got to go back to the ecological research people. Have a chat to them quickly. I realized that we're up to 48 minutes. Um, with a game like this, uh, it's going to be hard to Put it into 40 minute brackets uh so some episodes are going to go a little bit over like this and some are going to be a little bit under so like if you if we finish a hunt early or whatever and it's like 32 minutes there's no point going on another hunt because it's going to take too long or like this where a hunt will, will go a little bit over um Many especially people. with all this story stuff right you can't really script this um like you can't script it as far as recording goes like you don't know how long it's going to take uh so normal hunts i should be okay but with the start of the game like this where it's so focused on on uh story it might take a little bit longer anyway thanks for making sure the campsite is safe no worries we went ahead and got a camp all set up it's, it's yours as don't you let like me down. don't let me down and now that i want you to make uh and now that i know what you're made of fiber i hope i can take talk you into taking jobs from us more often which you probably can so unless there's another prompt which there is not uh, we'll leave the episode here. Uh, when we come back, we'll go in, uh, we'll come back and hand in all this stuff, see what's going on, maybe visit the smithy, see what we can build, or, or craft, I should say, and, uh, and see what's next. Either way, hopefully you're enjoying it. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.